These lip gloss. Oh, I forgot about lip gloss. I own one of those. Buying myself some time here. <laughs> We are Yay. here in Missouri with my friend Mickey. Hi. And we are going to compare our makeup routines. They're vastly different. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in need of some makeup. I woke up yesterday sick and I have the flu, but I'm not contagious today, so we're okay. But I need some makeup and Mickey's going to walk us through her makeup routine. So here we go. Okay, so this is how you see me most days. Which is awesome because she doesn't even need it. I can't walk around like Mickey does without makeup. See, we walked around, where was it? Or this when week? was it? Friday. Friday, we went to Brahms. Yes, Brahms. And I had no makeup on and I felt like I was an embarrassment <laughs> to the state of Tennessee. I actually put makeup on to go to Brahms. Yeah. So that was a miracle. Okay, so I do use a primer. You do? I do use a primer. Bare Minerals Prime Time. Love this. I got it as a little sample. What do you feel like it does for your skin? It honestly makes my makeup stay on all day long. But it kind of feels silky. I like to try it. It feels really silky. It like makes my makeup go on so smooth. So I put a tiny little pump in there. So you do think it makes your makeup stay on? I do. In fact, I tried it. Because when I switched to Bare Minerals a couple years ago, um, and this is how I do it, I'm not, I'm complete opposite of you. It goes all over. Do you, where do you buy it? Do you order okay. or do you buy it at Ulta? There used to be a Bare Minerals boutique in our local mall. And I love, love, loved it because they did specials all the time. Which is why I ended up trying this primer because with my whatever I bought, um, I got a little sample tube of this stuff. And so I tried it with and without. And I think it's like $32, $38. It's kind of pricey, but this one has lasted me since like September. Oh. Which sweet. I don't wear makeup every day. So, yeah. but anytime I wear makeup, this does go on. Okay, so I tried it and I really fell in love with it. So I went ahead and bought it. Now, Branson at our Tanger outlet, they have a Bare Beauty Plus or something. And so they carry Bare Minerals as well as a few other brands. Oh. And so sometimes I buy it there, sometimes I do buy it at Ulta. Honestly, not gonna lie, you can get better deals buying direct through um, Bare, Minerals. Bare Minerals online. Okay, so you were talk. You like a full coverage foundation, yeah. and I do not. I I'm like tinted moisturizer all the way way back in the day when Clinique, I think, was the first one to bring out a tinted moisturizer. I fell in love with it. That was back when I was in college. If you can see, I have freckles. Me too. Lots. I love my freckles. So this is Complexion Rescue. It's a tinted hydrating gel cream with an SPF of 30. Oh, I love stuff with sunscreen in it. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't irritate your skin because some no, it sunscreens does not. do. Some sunscreens do. Like I have one, if I'm going swimming, I have one brand of sunscreen I can use on my face. So here's my little brush that I use for foundation. Is that it's an actual foundation. Is brush. that a bare minerals brush? Mm -hmm. Everything I use is bare minerals except my mascara. So there's my foundation. You just work off your hand. Mm -hmm. So your foundation's not the powder foundation. It's no, the, I use. Oh. It's a tinted gel cream, Christina. Oh. And because of my freckles, I like this better because then. If I go full of coverage, either my freckles look chalky or the rest of my face looks too dark. Yeah. And right now I'm in my winter color, which is buttercream 0.3 or buttercream 3. Middle of the summer, I will start using desert 6.5, which is considerably darker because I do tan. Yeah. I mean, don't go to tanning bed, but just being honest, yeah. I do tan. And then early or, you know, late spring, early fall, I have to switch and I actually mix them in my hand to get a color that works. I have to mix pretty much all year round. I'm going to mix two colors today. Oh, see. I saw a lady, a beauty lady on YouTube that I watch. She painted on freckles the other day. She was, 
<laughs> she covered up her freckles and she was like, this is such a cute spring look. I'm going to add some freckles and she painted freckles on. And I was like, how strange. Mm. Yeah, I don't need any more than I've got. <laughs> And when I go out in the sun, I mean, seriously, five minutes out in the sun and my eyelids have freckles. That's funny. And like really pronounced, actually. So that's my foundation. I do not go all the way down the neck. See, if but I don't. Oh, I do crazy. go under here and yeah. just blend it in. But maybe it's because I'm not using full coverage. Yeah. So. Yeah, because you always look blended. You don't ever <clears throat> look like you got a crazy line. I'm just now on my brows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like halfway done. <laughs> okay, so another Bare Minerals blush or brush. Um, this is actually for the powder foundation, but I like it for my blush. Yeah, that's the so. Good and funny thing, I actually use just this side. I don't even use the tip of it. I use this side of it. And this is I can't see the Natural High. Oh, that's the color. That's it's, a pretty color. It's beautiful. It's got some gold, rosy. Whoops, something fell. Um, pretty color. Anyway, I go crazy with blush. I have one color. <laughs> I have so many. I know. I wear a little bit. And same thing. You contour. I do watch her videos. And yeah. I did try something new because of your videos. The my, what do you call it? My cellar water. I do use that now because I had never heard of it before because I'm just not a makeup. I hadn't until I watched first videos. People doing it on their video. But I do not contour. I don't do any of that. I'm more of a smile and put it on there. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for blush. I thought you were going to say for your face. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, surely not. Let me catch up. <laughs> okay. So I am on to my eyes already. <clears throat> so I use the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. And it does have an SPF of 15 in it as well. Oh. So this is a color. They have like four or five colors. And they're all relatively neutral. This is pretty. Almost looks like foundation. I didn't actually. know they had a cream eyeshadow. But it's a primer and color in one. So I some people that. only use it as the primer. Other people use it as part of their eyeshadow. That's what I do. Mm. And so I'm really not. And this is actually a concealer brush. A little flat paddle concealer brush from Bare Minerals. But that's what I use for this because I don't use concealer. You don't use concealer? No. I don't even own it. Oh, okay, goodness. I will say I have been blessed. I come from good genetics as far as skin goes, and none of me or my sisters, none of us parents have ever had acne at all. And so I'm praying that my kids don't have it, because I honestly don't know what to do for it. Yeah. It's that bad. My mom has great skin. She washes her skin, like, with alcohol, and then she'll put, like, Jergens lotion on her skin. I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, she doesn't have to wear makeup, but I, I have to... Cover up my dark circles. It's bad. Okay. Does your mom wear makeup? Yeah, she no, wears, makeup. wears makeup. But she's kind of like me. She's kind of a minimalist. So just so you know, if you haven't figured it out, a lot of these tubes, <clears throat> I'm going to get to a close-up of this. So this used to have a plastic plug in it, kind of like your mascara does. So, so much does it come out. But I got to where I couldn't get any more of my stuff out. And you could see through the bottle there was a bunch left in there. So I pried that little thing out. And so I can get like the other half of my tube out. So that's if I'm that's my out. little tip. Because like my little who likes tube to of, spend more money when you know uh, there's more in there? Yeah. My little tube of CC cream, I cut it open whenever it's whenever I can't pump any more out. I cut it open. Or like my little tubes of uh, skincare, I cut them open when they won't squeeze anymore and I'll scoop it out. See? Yeah. It's right. all about the waste. Yeah. Waste not, want not. Okay, so I do use the pots of loose eyeshadow. I don't, because the colors I like from Bare Minerals only come in the pots. They don't come in a palette. What is this? This is eyeshadow and it is called Summer. And it's kind it's of loose. loose. It's a loose powder. I would make a mess so, of that. <gasps> oh, so there's the cap. And there's my powder. And it's a golden color that I like because 
I'm pretty neutrals. Christina was wearing this gorgeous pink. <laughs> The I other made night. a mess out of is what I did. It was so pretty. And I'm like, I would look like, what did you say her name was from the Drew Carey? Mimi. Show? I'd look like Mimi. With yeah. that blue eyeshadow. Yeah. I would look like a clown if I tried that. I have tried it before. It's awful. <laughs> so. I was not looking real good at it. I tried to do something real fancy and whoa, it oh. didn't turn out. <laughs> <laughs> So she said, I put on fake eyelashes and they covered everything. Yeah, I put on my biggest pair and I was like, there, that fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I put my primer and I go all the way up to my eyebrows, which are almost non-existent. <laughs> I get that from my dad. Um, and it's okay. I'm not, I wear glasses. You don't see my eyebrows anyway. Yeah. So. Well, some people, it's like if you can't see their eyebrows, it throws their face off. And it doesn't with, with Mickey. Lucky Mickey. So I use this color. This is the color I use. If I'm wearing makeup, this color is always on my face. It's just a pretty kind of beach bronze goldy color, but it's light. So you get a little bit on your brush. Here, let me. So you just dip it, your brush. I can't. Oops, that's how the camera works. <laughs> you get your brush in it and then you stick it in the lid and you kind of squish it around so you don't have big clumps on your brush. That's pretty, and it's got sparkles in it. It does have sparkles. My girls get upset with me because I do take my eyeshadow all the way up to my eyebrows. Yeah, but with a but with like one that color like hands. that, it's yeah. really okay. Well, I'm working on my first coat of concealer. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna be standing here, <laughs> done in another minute, and she's and I'm going slow because we're talking. <laughs> Seriously, I was telling Lee, I said, you know, gotta get a sip of water. I'm like ten minutes was going slow motion usually. Oh my gosh. And I'm not. I'm just not a makeup person. I used to use all Mary Kay. That's what I started using when I first started wearing makeup. Yes. And that's what my mom and my sisters all used and just like I me. just not a makeup I even sold it for a while. Did you? I did. Oh. I love the look of it. I just don't wear it. Yeah. Okay, so since I'm with you, I'm gonna go bold. Yay! I'm gonna wear two oh, eyeshadows. I really love she gonna wear two coats. I love that color. Ooh, this that is beautiful. It's a pretty pink. It's kinda matches my shirt. That is really pretty. And little thing with bare minerals if you sign up for their friends club or whatever which is a totally free thing on your birthday you get a free full-size product oh. and it's their choice and used to if you're lucky enough to have one of their boutiques close to you you have they like send you an email and you just take it in within 30 days and they give you your product this was a free product so it's a free full-size eyeshadow and it was in a pretty pink color i liked it yeah, I'll um, love that. If you don't have a boutique store, you have to do it online. But they send it in with your, you order something and you punch in your birthday code and they send you whatever it is. Oh. So with my second eyeshadow, I just bear it, go over my lids just a little bit because I just don't. Yeah, where do you put it? Okay, just I really just kind of. Across my lid right there in my crease, just barely. Of course, I go with really light colors, so yeah. it's not quite as hard as. And boy, my cheeks look really pink in this, but not in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times it looks totally different in there. Okay, so this proves <laughs> that you can be friends with somebody who has completely opposite yeah. taste yeah. as you, and you can really still be good friends. <laughs> yes. Opposites attract, obviously. Opposites attract. Oh. I'm sweaty. Are you hot in here? No, it's just you. Okay. You're sick. Okay. Don't make me sick. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to I'll breathe this way. Okay. Now, I do actually own eyeliner. Oh. See, my it's mom doesn't do always... much with her eyes because she wears glasses. So you yeah. do. I don't. So, if we're going to a concert, my husband MC's concerts. So if we're going to go to a concert a lot of times, I will wear eyeliner. It's called Always Charcoal is the color. It's just kind of a, I don't know, it's not even a charcoal color. It's kind of more of a bronzy color. Yeah. But I only line my top 
right above the lashes because yeah. um, I don't like the look of it on the bottom. Same thing. Um, I only put, ma put mascara on my top lashes. A lot of people do that though because on my bottom lashes, when I do that, my eyes look really, really small. Yeah. So my mascara is the only thing that is not Bare Minerals and it is Revlon Grow Luscious by Fabulish. It's black brown. And the reason is because other brands make my eyes itch and water. That might be a good option then if you guys have sensitive eyes. Yes, try different things because my mom is the same way. She cannot wear, she's never been able to wear Mary Kay. I, even eyeshadow Mary Kay makes her eyes water and itch. Really? And so, um, but so she doesn't wear a lot of eyeshadow just because she has problems finding things that don't oh, bother shoot. her. What'd you forget? I forgot to contour before I powdered. And it's too late now because it's cream. Oh well. It's tragedy. <laughs> Becky, this is serious. I don't even know how to contour. I'll just do it with my bronzer. I'm really thankful for YouTube though because my daughters, my 12 year old, especially loves makeup. And so she watches all these videos and she can do a great smoky eye and looks great with it. And yeah. me, I try that and I look like a raccoon. <laughs> I mean, no joke. Oh. Um, YouTube has opened up a whole new So world thank you all you out there who make these videos because, you know, you make like a mom like me. My daughter is totally into makeup. She bought a oh, beautiful okay. new eyeshadow palette yesterday. I just looked at it. It is beautiful. I'm going to have to get it. Yeah, I took my two girls and Christina's two girls to Ulta. Yes. And they found all sorts of things I never would have even looked at. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for my eyes. Unless I'm going to wear... Did you line your eyes? I did not line my eyes today. I could. I guess I could still do that. I was going to say, wow, I'm, I'm checked out on that. I totally missed it. All right. Sorry, i got to get really close to the mirror on this. So Mickey was saying her husband is a Southern Gospel promoter, or I guess you said that. MC, but promoter as well. Promoter yes, I did as well. say that, but yes. Um, so she is in front of a lot of people a lot of the time. They do, um, like, who all do you? Well, we work with groups like the McCameys, which live in the same town as you. Yes. And um, the Booth Brothers. Karen Peck and New River, Jeff, Jeff and Cherry Easter, the Isaacs. So they're working with a lot of yeah. big um, name people. The Wisnets, Mylon Hayes family, Dixie Echoes, Gold City, all those people. And my husband has done that since he was 18. He started with a group out of St. Louis and moved to St. Louis when he was 18. Started driving bus for the Lester family. And he worked for them for almost 10 years. Who lets an 18 year old drive a bus? <laughs> now you, now it's not even legal. I don't think they can be licensed to drive a bus till they're 25. Or maybe they can't get insurance till they're 25 for that. But back in the 80s, um, late 80s, it wasn't quite that way. So there's my eyeliner, obviously. You can see it, not. So no wing liner for you. Oh, no. When I tried, it's a disaster. <laughs> I, it's a disaster. Okay, um, I tried it. Um, I have tried it. It's just, no, it's just not me. Yeah. It's just not me. And that's okay. We're all different. Oh, the other day for church, I had some beautiful eye makeup going and I was like, oh, I've got extra time. I woke up early. So I went really bold with the liner and I was like, I'm just going to press my luck. Wrong move. I went wing, then it went a little too crazy and bold, and then it ended up way out here, thick line, then I went, then I ran out of time, I didn't have time to fix it, I looked like a drag queen, I literally looked like a drag queen, I was so embarrassed, <clears throat> it was bad. Okay, so this is the last product I use, and I love that. another Bare Minerals thing, and um, this was really a sweet product, because when I bought... Same thing, you might be able to get a deal like this online. 
when I bought my foundation, I bought the foundation and a couple black brushes and eyeshadow and whatever all I bought. Well, they have like a deal. It's like $97. And I got like an eyeshadow, two brushes, whatever, a lip gloss, whatever I got, and my foundation for like $97. But then I got a free product with that. Shoot. I love So things. I remember the lady's name. Her name was Jamie. She was so sweet in the store. And she said, I'm going to just tell you, this will probably be the best product for you to get. It's got a matte one and a glow. And these are kind of like, just to finish it off, if you want more yeah. of a matte look, you use this side, obviously. And this one's got a little bit of shimmery sparkle to it. And this product alone was like $42. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. got it for free. Oh, my gosh. And I, I was, love things like that. And I was already buying all the rest of the stuff yeah. anyway. Oh, I love it. I love it. And so I use the same brush. I just use the other side of my blush brush. And I just kind of squish it around on my, like you would get blush. Yeah. Do you use the shimmery side? I use the shimmery side. In fact, I have never even touched my brush to the matte side. Ooh. I don't really know what I would use it for. I would use it to highlight my brow bone, but you don't do anything with that. I wouldn't know how to do that. I'm not going to lie. Well, no shame. You don't even have to do that. Well, okay, so I just put this kind of, I'm kind of like a 90s bronzing powder with this all <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so I do, I put it on my cheeks, just kind of over the top of my thing, and it just kind of makes them look iridescent. Yeah, and then I do a little strip it. down my nose and right here and on my chopper. Yeah. Your chopper. chopper. Comment down below if you call it a chopper. That's cool. And so that is my makeup. You're done? I'm done. Do you use lip gloss? Oh, I forgot about lip gloss. I own one of those. Buying myself some time here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went in with three eyeshadow shades. I'm still working on it here. Okay, so I do not like lipstick. I just don't like the feel of it. Never have. So I'm definitely a lip gloss. This is called Spark Plug. And it is one of the Moxie lip glosses from... Bare Minerals. It's got a mint smell and Ooh. flavor to it. It kind of makes your lips tingle. Is it a plumping glue? I stand? believe it is. Ah. And we actually, this is the only one I own. This is the only lip gloss color I own. What? <laughs> I'm not lying. Okay, what? so my 12 year old has like 15. And she's got her favorite. This is one of my favorites, but my second favorite, and I used to use it. But we had an accident at church and it fell out of our pocket and broke. Like the bottle shattered. It oh. And it was the same thing. It was a Moxie from Bare Minerals. But it was called Maverick. And it was the same kind of color but just a little bit darker. Got a little bit of a sparkle in it. And I do own. And it's called Spark Plug? This is Spark Plug. Well, you can wear this anywhere. I hate yeah. to I sound like Oprah. You can like wear it to the grocery store. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh. Get a life, people. I'm wearing a jeans and t-shirt to the grocery store. Uh. <laughs> Unless I got to go somewhere else. And I definitely don't do my makeup just to go to the grocery store. No. Because that's just not me. No. So, yeah, I'm finished. Oh, my gosh. That's oh, really glasses. Pretty. I'll put my glasses back on. Oh, they're fogged up. It must be getting warm in here. Yeah. I'm, I'm sweating it up, I'll tell you. Maybe. So, they're, they're being quiet out there. Hey, Al, Allie's dancing, but they're being quiet, so I'm going to open that door. Okay, so yeah, I am finished. Now, I do I do have lip liner that I wear every oh. once in a while if I need long-lasting color, but it's kind of the same color. It's a really, really neutral. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't have oh, you didn't bring it. It's in my... I probably haven't used it in a couple months. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That is so funny. I cannot even tell you how many lip liners I've brought on this trip. Maybe nine. Um, you own nine? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I don't. Um, yeah. I brought three eyeliners. Um, and this one. We did a whole video on me trying to um, pack and decide what to pack out of my makeup. Chesley was trying to help me and be like, Mom, you don't need that. So while you're doing that, I'm going to fix my hair. Oh. Uh, when you said Spark Plug was the name of that lip gloss, it reminded me of like 
how you're handy with cars and stuff because your dad. So tell us about that. So my dad is a pastor of a Free Will Baptist Church, a smaller church. So he's a bivocational pastor, which means he has he pastors and he had a full time job as well. Which from like I think I was in sixth or seventh grade when he purchased the auto body shop that he was he had managed for like twenty years and run for like twenty years. So him and my mom purchased that. That didn't work out. Uh, no, the body shop did. The hair didn't work out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, and so um, he owned a body shop, and they did, you know, they fixed your car after you hit a deer or a turkey or somebody hit you. Or in the town they lived in, this one grocery store had a light pole right in the parking lot, and it was close to the parking spaces right up front by the doors. And I think he said that one light pole gave him more business. Oh, how <laughs> funny. Any other place in town because people would park and think, oh, I'll remember that pole's there. And then when they would back out, they'd cut it too short and then back right smack oh, into that pole. So lots funny. of bumpers were replaced from that. So he, he ran that um, and owned that shop until just a few years ago when he retired, decided to retire at the age of seven. I don't know. <laughs> he's 72 now, so I don't know. It may have been like 69 or something like that. Um, so he sold his business a couple years ago to one of his work employees. And ha so him and his family are running it now. So my dad Aww. is still pastoring, though. Kind of going for a side messy bun thing going on today. Cute. Yeah. Look. Cute. So anyway, um, so yeah, my parents are still kicking their... And you know how to do all the car stuff. Yeah, I helped him actually a lot. Whenever I was growing up, I would work summers. I would go to work with my dad and I would pay bills. I'd write out all his checks to like auto supply parts, things like that. And then um, in the afternoon, I'd go to the swimming pool. <laughs> it wasn't too far away. And then when I turned 16, I started lifeguarding. I lifeguarded for 10 years, 10 summers. Um, I absolutely loved it. In fact, I have twins. I have a boy-girl set of twins. Allie, pop your head in here. Yeah. There's the 12-year-old girl. She's one of the twins. So whenever I was um, pregnant with them, I was actually lifeguarding and teaching water aerobics and swim lessons pretty much full-time. And I was working almost 40 hours a week. Um, doing things like that and I did that until I was 30 weeks pregnant is when I stopped oh, working. Oh my word. And then now I'm a stay-at-home mom and I homeschool our three children. But seriously, lifeguarding was my favorite job ever. Really? Oh, I if could I could be a it. And I, I say if I could be at lifeguard again, I totally could if I was just willing to do it. I couldn't um, handle the pressure. I love, love, love it. It's my favorite. I love teaching kids to swim. Number one, I can't swim that well. Like, I can <laughs> swim. I could save my own life, but not the life of another. <laughs> There's no way. And um, I got a mess. I got to clean up right there. But I do. I, I went to college. I have a degree in music education. So I did teach in the public school system for a year. And then I got married and moved and had to, you know, I, I substituted full time. Uh -huh. For a year and then I decided I wanted to just be a stay-at-home mom which yeah. growing up never thought I would want to do yeah. ever that was like horrible my mom worked and I, so psh, why would I want to stay at home with kids all day that's just crazy business yeah but you helped Dwayne oh yeah lot. we sell tickets and we have an event of our own a four-day event so we handle those things out of our home office and so he's at home and you do bus trips and yeah we're getting ready to do a bus trip out your way now what is this oh setting spray i've never used that as a oh what does it really do seal the deal it just makes everything kind of mesh together yes i love it ah this wonky here i have to pull out a bottle pen and fix that and i have to curl my lashes i'm about done yeah. Should we tell them about the first time I remember meeting you? Yeah, him? yeah. <laughs> we had taken a bus trip out to the area where they live for a concert. And our kids were little. Like, I think it was, what, five, five years, years ago? ago, probably. So my now 11-year-old was what? Six. She 
may have been six. It was usually either five or six. And um, we were at their four. church on a Sunday. And she, my five-year-old or six-year-old decided she was going to get sick. And she started throwing up. Oh, and wow. I was trying to get her to the bathroom. But there were seriously like 500 people there that day. Oh, yeah. The choir couldn't even leave the choir loft. Yeah. It was that full. And so um, I'm trying to get her to the bathroom. And I get her to the first bath set of bathrooms from the sanctuary. And um, it was full. There was a line out the door. And so I'm like, I knew there was an old set of bathrooms further back into the church. So I'm trying to get around there and we don't get there. And she loses it right there in the floor on the carpet. And so I'm like, oh no. And I get her into the bathroom and she's I'm getting her cleaned up. And so I'm like, okay, I've got to go find somebody from this church. And you guys were new there, relatively. Yeah. You hadn't been there very oh, yeah. long. And so here comes Christina all put together. You always have looked so put together to me. Oh. She's all put together and she comes around the corner and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but my little girl just threw up in the floor. And she's like, oh, that's okay. I'll just take care of it. You don't worry about it. It happens, honey. And I'm like, how embarrassing. So then later in that year, we actually became, got to know them, Lee and Christina, a lot better. And we became friends and yeah. I finally fessed up that that was me. I didn't remember it. But, but my own child threw up in that church too and I didn't even know where a mop was because we were so new there and I'm like oh help somebody so it happens <laughs> so oh, yeah you know how to become good friends with somebody clean up their child's throat yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they make fun of the way I talk here because apparently I'm very southern the other night we were eating with them and McKinley said something and one of the boys said wow you sure sound like your mama so, I guess Lee doesn't have as much of an accent as I do, but I don't think I'm going to do my bottom lashes today because my eyes are pouring and it's running everything I'm doing anyway. So, we're done. We're both finished. Yay. Thank you for joining us today and we will see you in our next video. Bye.